Hey y'all, I'm out and about. I'm over here at uh, Quiznos Sub. Get me a sandwich with my stepmom Linda. About to do what it do. All right, here we go, y'all. This is Quiznos, y'all. Uh, last time I've been here was maybe. Ugh, about five years ago. Not this one, but the one in Long Beach. And uh, pretty good last time. So anyway, this is what I got y'all. I got me a, 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 what is this? A French dip with some au jus. And what'd you get, Linda? Chili and pastrami. Ooh, and the pastrami do look good for a sandwich shop. Yeah. Mukbang, mukbang. <laughs> Time it is, y'all. Uh, yeah. Uh, mukbang, mukbang. Oh, God, I'm mukbanging. Mukbanging on Quiznos. Yeah, sir. What, we, what time is it, Linda? Mukbang, mukbang. Ha, <laughs> ha, What? We gonna give it an, an official bang or a muck when we're done. Okay, so y'all stay tuned, you hear? Watch us eat. Not bad. Not bad, Linda? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got me some soup, too. What is this cheese broccoli? Cheddar, yeah, cheddar, cheddar cheese, cheddar. I normally get that, they have it at Subway. Yeah. Ooh, thank you, Abba Father, for this food. Father, God, we ask you to bless this food in the name of God and when we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Mmm. I ain't ate all day, y'all. I've been, um, I'll get up and I'll just eat, I'll drink a cup of coffee and a piece of toast, maybe two, and then I'm good until now. Same thing with your dad. Yeah. Same thing. But I think that's with a lot of people too, the older you get, and when you're not 100, you're like that. Some, uh, Not bad. Mm. When, when I think about it, when you're in this area, we can go to the place called New York Deli. The Central Man. Now, when it comes to stuff like this, French dip, that's it. With, with, with the best meat. And they're all Jew. That's like Mike Daddy. Yeah, yeah like. probably the same. And that, that all Jew is out of this world. You be dipping, you be like, oh my God. But, you better bring your wallet. Because you're going to pay. But it's a good food. So what are you here for tonight? To meet my artist that's gonna be on my next show. So you're here for business then? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with dad and I, I took him out last night. He can't do back to back. Oh, so he can't do the back to back no more, huh? So well, he gotta pick his battles. <laughs> Is he still singing as much as he used to? No. He sung himself out? I wouldn't be surprised if he's the only. Asian guy? Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't find too many Asian workers. He probably didn't know. Yeah. 
come to. It's it, it, good health is hard. But you know what? Unless you really making it like that, I don't even think I would even want to have nobody else on you. I would definitely have maybe two other managers where where I get tired and maybe on the weekends they can do it. But I, I, I think I would want to be hands on on my own that is establishment. That is a new, a new business, you definitely. Mm-hmm. Because ain't nobody going to run it the way you would run it. The session is definitely about to get six hundred. Uh, six hundred. What store? It comes with six hundred stores. Yeah. After COVID, everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people are working from home now. And not only that, if you notice, the hustle game is back on. Just like you remember, you're older than me, but still kind of remember when they had a lot of elective classes in school. Mm -hmm. They don't now, right? But they starting to, but that type of stuff is coming the back. They just put you in fighting for trades. But it was it was it was geared to not have trades. Work. It was geared for people to be slaves mm -hmm. and work for people and make other people rich. Mm -hmm. But things are changing now with AI. It's starting to balance the game out. Mm -hmm. So now the rich people ain't up here and got a monopoly on right, right. But if you're not smart, you're gonna fall behind because guess what? Instead of having somebody else do your banking, you go to the B of whatever. Not, not with crypto, you're, you're your own bank. So you gotta do what they're doing for you. You have your own side. Yeah, so guess what? A lot of people ain't doing that. There's gotta be a percentage of people that's gonna be left behind. That's the, he even says in the Bible, not all is going to, you know what I mean? So just be thankful. And he said they were always be four months. Always be four months. So you got to be thankful that you were the chosen one mm -hmm. to do that. Or he wouldn't even presented everything we're doing to us if that was the case. So it'll behoove us to do what he's given us the wisdom to do. Because we cannot do it and then end up in blame and say he ain't doing nothing for us. You know what? I don't know if I would get this again. It's not bad, but it ain't good. Don't say we could have did that here while we're here, and then you could have just went on and went into your yeah, phone. Yeah, we can do it for your phone because I couldn't find the computer yeah. for it. What you looking for? Did I need to put my phone? Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm tasting. It tastes kind of strong. It's the meat. Hey y'all. This is a muck, for real. It don't taste good, y'all. I won't be coming back here for this type of sandwich. I got a weird taste in this steak, but it don't taste like steak. I'm gonna put it in this all juice here to taste that different. Do you know that I haven't yet had a beautiful meal anywhere? While with you, a beautiful meal. Everywhere we go so far, when we have a meal, it's not been good. Remember the pastrami place we went to? 
that was probably the worst pastrami I ever had in my life. And they and they promote it like it's the best in the West. When they show it on TV, I had put on there, somebody had put a sandwich of that place. And I said, no, I said, that sandwich that they're showing and all that meat they put on there didn't look nothing like the pastrami I had and it didn't taste like it. I said, nah, I won't be duped with Johnny's pastrami. Muck, muck, muck. Another place we went to, I was like, oh man. It ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> I'm just noticing that so far. So that means. Well, we went to the. Um, the we're Tampico. due. Oh, tax code. Yeah. Well, not all of them. You know what I mean? And I did say that. Huh? You're right, I forgot. Not tax code. That was probably the only one. That was it. Woody Street Landing was good. There you go, two, two for two. Okay, you right. I forgot about them. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Even this our Jew is not the best. It's okay. I got some chicken thrown at the house from Friday night. Have you gotten on the clubhouse? Mm. Clubhouse is good. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, they send me messages every day. Listening to her uh, app. Yeah, they do. My dad heard from Clyde and Willie and all that. Yeah, Clyde came to the uh, meetup. Okay. He's probably the only one who still kind of comes by. Mm -hmm. Have you met his daughter? His daughter? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Willie's daughter? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen him in a long time. We was together June too. Yeah. And we were there. I ain't gonna be attending San Pedro's June team anymore. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, well, me and Pedro, we don't get along. Mm -hmm. Never have. I'm like an outcast. Really? I'm serious. I am like an outcast to people. And when I say Pedro, I'm talking about the black nucleus. And that consists of most of the people that were born and raised in the projects, of course. So we all grew up together. St. Peter's a small town. You go through it. I mean, you come, you go there for a reason. It's not like Long Beach, people coming through. So the mindset, I know I've said this before. So the mindset is weird. So you might say, well, why, what makes you so different? I moved. Out of Pedro? I lived in Michigan for quite a while. Then when I came back, I lived in Marietta, I lived in Riverside, I lived other places and got a different mindset along with. So, But not only that, even before I left, for some reason, me and certain people and, and a lot of people and people just, just don't get along. Mm -mm, they, 
they don't they they see me coming and oh man I got a DM full of uh, dudes threatening me wanting to beat me up because they girls get mad and then throw my name in at them just to make them mad. Right. I ain't lying. Call me on the phone and threaten me. Wanting to beat me up because they're arguing with their girl and they know if they bring my name up in any capacity, but I don't even know these women. Never had a conversation with them, don't even know them. And I had a few of them where they do will call me up and threaten me. And I don't know what they talking about. They got the right ear? Yeah, <laughs> they, they know, they, we all grew up together, they know who I am. Then I had this one dude, he called me, not called me, but he, he DM'd me, because they, they won't do it on Facebook. They'll DM me because they know it's private. if people see it, they'll see how crazy they are. But this dude called me up and said, said threatened me. He said he, he wanted to kill me. I forgot why. First he said, I thought you was dead. Now he's, 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 he's typing this. And then he, then he threatened me, calling me a punk. And I, and, and I, and I probably never even said maybe five words to this man ever in life. But check this out. When I was a little kid at the Peck Park pool, the same dude and his brother, they're twins. They, they tried to drown me at Peck Park pool for no reason. And guess what now? Those are the cops carrying some unhinged. They're, they're, they're twins, and guess what? Guess where they are? In jail. No, worse than that. Yeah, they were in jail, but guess where they are now? Yeah. Both of them. When I tell you one flew over the cuckoo's nest, Twilight Zone, that's Pedro. <laughs> that's Pedro. Not everybody though. Mm -hmm. But 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 the shoe fit, and it's a whole lot of them who shoe fit too. Ooh, that was good. No, I take all that. I'm gonna keep it too. But what I do is I go home and I edit it. You know, you see myself. But then I might speed it up. Cause when you speed it up, the stuff I say won't hit so hard. Especially the last part. Mm -hmm. It'll be funny, you know what I mean? But anyway, deuces y'all. Catch on the next mukbang, mukbang.